Good morning. My name is Dr. Alexander Arthur, pastor of Word of Life Christian Center International here in Nashville, Tennessee. I want to talk to you today in this devotion about the life of a man called David. Uh, I'm sure that, you know, growing up in church, you probably have heard about this man, David, that came to be seen as uh, perhaps the greatest king that ever lived in the land of Israel. Uh, the story goes that David, as a young boy, uh, was sent by his father to go and see after uh, and check on his uh, brothers who were preparing to fight the Philistines. And the Philistines had presented Goliath as a man that if anyone were to beat him, the Philistines then would serve the Jewish people, the Israelites, and the Israelites uh, were to able to present someone to defeat Goliath. Um, so if Goliath was able to defeat someone that Israelite will have sent to fight Goliath, then the Israelite would uh, uh, serve the Philistines if Goliath were to defeat the person that was sent up to fight him. Of course, the, the short end of the story is that David was able to defeat Goliath. Eventually, David became king. Now, king of Israel, uh, that is. But this is the point, the point about David. David made a mess of things in his life. He made a lot of things. Uh, the Bible tells us that he was a murderer, just like uh, Moses was a murderer. You know, in fact, let me tell you this. No matter what you've done, nothing that you've done will stop God from loving you or stop God from uh, using you for the purposes and the plans that he had pre 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 predestined for you to accomplish in his life. If only you will yield to him or surrender to him. And here it is was the case where David, in spite of committing murder, in spite of committing adultery, in spite of doing all the other kind of things that were wrong, nevertheless, there was one thing that he did that was so much what I want to share with you today. The ability to go and, and, and after God, to pursue God, to chase after him, even when you've done wrong. And being a pastor, I, I'm aware of how when, when someone falls off the wagon, so to speak, misses the mark, so to speak, sins, so to speak, then they don't want to come to church because they feel like, well, they're being condemned and they feel guilty. The Bible tells us there's therefore now no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. If you are born again, child of the living God, you should not allow yourself to be condemned, no matter what it is that you have done. If you only will ask God to forgive you and repent, it will happen. God will do that. Having said that, and going back to the life of David, the one thing that David did was is that, as I said, he pursued God. Even when he had done wrong, he went after God. In fact, the Bible tells us that at one point, he says in the book of Psalms, chapter 17, he said, if it, had been, if it had not been the Lord, where would I have been? If God had not been in his life, I would have fainted if it had not been the Lord. He would have passed out. He would have just given up, quit, caved in if it wasn't because of the Lord. You should be able to say, that if it had not been because of the Lord, where would you be today? Will you pursue God? Will you chase, you know, the song, I'm chasing after you. Will you chase after God today? Would you practice the presence of God today? Will you run after him? Run towards him. Don't run away from him. Run towards him. And if you do that, no matter what it is that you have done, no matter whatever it is that you have uh, failed to accomplish and somehow or you're guilty about or you feel like, my goodness, my life doesn't count anymore in the kingdom of God, believe me, God can use murderers, God can use adulterers, God can use fornicators. If you allow him, he will use you as well. You probably haven't done anything close to what Moses and David did. Uh, and, and even if you had, listen, still God will use you. God will call you to himself. It is you that he wants, not what you have performed and done wrong. He wants to forgive you, bring you to himself, and let you know how much he loves you. May you recognize that. May today be a day that you begin to see yourself as chasing after God, pursuing God, practicing his presence, no matter what it is that you face. May God bless you. Hey, listen, Jesus is Lord. And with all you're getting, get understanding. For the word of life changes lives, and love never fails.